Well, I finally found someone who pays for things. That's never happened. Like, I would buy dinner, literally. What does Danica Patrick look for in a life partner? <laughs> um, well, I think you just want to be with someone that um, reciprocates, right? Someone who's going to love at the same level and the same, um, same way um, or the way that you need it, right? I mean, there's like a you know, great book called The Five Love Languages and, you know, everybody receives, feels love or receives love you know, in a ver few variety of different ways. And so, you know, if your, you know, love tank stays full based on that. And, you know, I think ultimately the most important thing is that you want to grow together. And, you know, I feel like over time, like, I've observed that if you don't, if you're not growing together in the same way, it doesn't work. You can be super compatible, not compatible. It doesn't matter. It hasn't worked out in the past. So what matters is that you want to grow in the same way. You want the same things um, because that's, I think, people kind of grow out of each other. They grow in different directions. Or one grows and one doesn't. And then you just end up going, yeah, not for me anymore. Like. I can't stay here. I'm, I have to keep going, and um, and so I think that's, I think that's like a fundamental core necessity for a partner. Why do you think it works with Aaron? Um, well, I think we want to grow in the same way. I mean, it's not like we've got you know 15 years of marriage to tell you that it worked out, but. Yeah. I believe that we want to grow in the same way. We both have the same interests. We both have the same core beliefs and opinions and are, we're open-minded people. And while we, we do have a lot of hobbies the same, we have a few different ones, but generally we're like similar people. And, but most importantly, we want to, we want to grow. How, how strange if at all is it for you to all of a sudden be with somebody who, you know, has the same level of fame as you and also had an extraordinary amount of financial success? Well, I finally found someone who pays for things. <laughs> there you go. That's never happened, ever. Like I would buy dinner, literally. So, Listen, I'm wait, used somebody's to it. I'm never, telling wait, you, they've never bought dinner? Super uncomfortable. Yeah, like, I mean, I would buy dinner most of the time. It was super uncomfortable in the beginning with Aaron, like, to have him paying for things because it was so out of the norm for me. And you're sure that's just not you setting the precedent that you want to buy dinner? It's just a pattern. Like, I had to break that pattern of, like, I got it. Like, let me take care of you, you know? Like, that's how I do it. But I think it's also good because no one's really done that for him either. And so, you know, we both do stuff. But yes, he pays for most things. What do you think <laughs> each of you like about one another? I really think it's that we both are interested and op interested in similar things. Um, and that stems from being open-minded people. Um, you know, um, yeah, like it all really started with me asking if he was stalking me on the astral plane, and then it went from there. So uh, what? Yeah, exactly, because people don't know what that means, but he knew what that meant, and then it just went from there. And we were like, "Oh my God, you wait, you know, but that what you like this? Oh my God, like we're like we had been friends for six years, five, six years, and um, like just friends, as in like, hey, how's it going? Or like, oh, congrats on the game, or good race, or you know." Sometimes I didn't hear from him for a whole year, and then I'd hear from him a couple times the next year. I mean, it was very sporadic, but definitely friend-based. And so, you know, it's just one of those things where we both went, what? We're interested in, in unique things that not a lot of people are, and we're also very open-minded people. So, um, you know, we love to learn and educate ourselves. And so, you know, when he buys me books called like the holographic universe, I'm like, this is awesome. You know him, I mean, and I don't, I think people generally know this about him, but maybe not at the level. Like, I love that he's smart. I mean, he is a super, in, super intelligent person. I love to grow and so, and learn more and he can help me do that. Your sister, in an article I read from many years back was uh, quoted as saying, I always wanted to be a mom where that's not really something she's had, m meaning you. How's that desire changed over the years on your end? I mean, kids have crossed my mind since I was in my, you know, early 20s, for sure. Like, 
you know, you come across some cute kids along the way, and you're like, oh, that's cool, or you think of the idea of it, and you're like, you know, I, I was always very focused on racing and was never going to quit racing for it, but, like, surrogacy crossed my mind plenty of times, um, and, uh, y you know, it just was not in the cards for so long um, because of, it, you know, two people have to want, to sit, want the same thing, and... Um, and never was like that. Did her having kids? Uh, yeah, her like, kids. Kind of like I, yes. Desire? I mean, they're so fun. They're just so great. And so I, I love seeing her kids. And um, they make me inspired to, you know, want them because they're fun. They, they're they're really just amazing little human beings.